talk about a couple of soluble factors, so just various secretions that contain different kind of substances that have antibacterial activity. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to say what collectins are. So they're just small proteins that are able to kill certain bacteria by cell wall disruption. So I, I don't know, I guess I will write it down just for reference. Um, so a collectin disrupt cell walls. Disrupt cell walls. Okay, so next are the interferons. So serum, which we already talked about, is the liquid component of blood. Um, it contains interferons. Now what interferons are, are an antiviral agents. So they are interferon IFN, is, it's also written down as just so you know. This is antiviral. You're going to hear a lot about interferons activating different cells in the adaptive and innate immune response. So it's important to know what they are. Um, so they're divided into three major types, which are interferon alpha, which is produced by leukocytes. Try to do this in the same color. So produced by leukocytes. Then you have interferon beta, which is produced primarily by fibroblasts. And then you have interferon gamma, which is produced, um, it's not directly induced by viruses. So but it um, is produced by uh, T cells and natural killer T cells. Um, so the type one interferons, which are uh, alpha and beta, uh, they inhibit viral replication. So we'll write that down. Inhibit viral replication. So they may do this by killing a cell that's infected or by directly degrading or causing degradation of the, of the cell uh, or the, not the cell because the viruses are in cells, the, the peptide associated with the, with the virus or the enveloped virus, whatever it is. And then all three types of interference enhance killing of virus infected cells by the natural killer cells. So I don't know how to kind of circle everything here, but uh, maybe we'll just put a little shade over it over the whole thing. So all three are involved in enhancing the killing. Virus infected cell killing. Okay, so that is what interference are. Um, I'll kind of talk about how they inhibit viral replication. Um, in an, oh, maybe I'll talk about it right now. So basically what it is is the induction of type 1 interferon. So these guys right here. Um, what happens is the presence of viral RNA or DNA will activate interferon alpha or beta production by stimulating pattern recognition receptors. So that's kind of what I wanted to do in a new video, but pattern recognition receptors. They may include something like what are called toll-like receptors, so TLRs, and I might go into more detail on those in further videos. But interferons then induce antiviral responses in neighboring cells by binding to interferon alpha and beta receptors, which leads to mRNA degradation and inhibition of protein synthesis. So if you have a cell here that is infected, so here's your cell, it's dying, and what happens is it binds to the interferon alpha and beta receptors, maybe right here, this guy, and it'll inhibit these cells. So it makes them act on, on um, this cell will actually produce type 1 interferons that act on neighboring cells, making them um, 
refractory to the viral growth by stopping mRNA degrad like by causing mRNA degradation and stopping protein synthesis, you're not going to make anything that maybe contains right a virus because if you think about a virus, remember what a virus does is if you have your DNA right here, a virus will try and insert itself into your DNA and then have an easy ride for replication. That's what some viruses do. And they have an easy ride for replication. So when you replicate, they get a bunch of their new viral genomes to send out to your body and replicate.